All right, better food time. This segment used to be much more fun when we, you know, when we used to have people in the studio. Well, partly because we could eat everything they made. And that's the whole this reason. This is really good for us that it's virtual. <laughs> All right, so instead, we're just going to have to think of how wonderful this would be as we watch Grace Vallow of Tastefully Grace cook an amazing fall meal. Hi, Grace. Hi, how are you? I'm so excited to be making this beautiful seared scallop dish with a toasted coconut butternut squash puree. It sounds I'm hard. just so excited to make this for you guys. It's like fall on a plate. All right. It sounds hard, Grace. Is it hard? It's not hard, I promise you. Right. I'm going to prove you wrong. Are okay. you ready? We're yes, ready. show us. <laughs> All right. So we have some beautiful scallops here, obviously the star of the show. And we're just going to go ahead and take the side muscle off of each of these scallops, which is just like the little side flap on each scallop. Okay. That's really tough. You want to take that off. You don't oh. want to leave it on. They look like and then you're just going to go ahead and take a little uh, paper towel and just dab them dry because that will allow them to sear really evenly. If you don't do that, they won't sear as crispy and nice. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and take them and put them right in the pan. I have some uh, butter right in the pan. It's super piping hot. You want it to be really hot so it sears. And then I have some shiitake mushrooms oh, too. Wow. And I'm just going to add a few of them in the pan too. And they're going to caramelize and get all buttery and nice. And they're just going to add to kind of like the fall flavors, the earthiness of this dish. Okay. I'm going to go pop that right in there. And mm. these will sear for about two minutes on each side. If you have diver scallops, which are like the big ones, you're going to want to do an extra two minutes on each side. So, all I so know while about, those are going. All I know about scallops, Grace, is U10. Is U10 those scallops. Those are the bigger ones, right? Yeah, the big, the big fat ones you want to cook a little bit longer, but these are really fast. Okay. Uh, which is awesome. So then we have uh, our puree. We're going to start working on our puree. It starts with some butternut squash. I actually got just a can of pureed butternut squash, oh. which takes like some extra work out of, you know, making the actual butternut squash puree. Okay. So I just pop that right into a blender and then we're going to add all of our fun ingredients. So we have some melted butter here and obviously butter makes everything better. Mm -hmm. And then I have some chopped onion here. It's just uh, about, a half of a very small yellow onion and I have a garlic clove and that's just going to add some brightness to this puree. Oh, yummy. And then I have some coconut cream, coconut. which is basically just, it's like coconut water, but they thicken it naturally. And it's like a nice little paste. They have that um, at the grocery just, store, right? Just in the canned food aisle. Right, right. And it's only like $2, too, for the whole can, and it lasts you a really long time. So you're just going to go ahead and stick that right in. And then we're just going to add a little bit of ground nutmeg, and that will add to the nice, like, full flavor of this dish. It's obviously so warm. Nutmeg is like the classic fall flavor. And then you would just blend this guy up into a nice puree, and you end up with something that looks like this. I already did the work for you so you wouldn't have to listen to the loud blender. Oh. <laughs> and, <okay>. then, <laughs> and then I have here our scallops. We're going to go work on these again. We're just going to flip them over. They're starting to brown really nicely, if you can see. And we're just going to flip them over. Flip the mushrooms over, too. They're caramelizing in the pan. It smells like heaven in here. Thanks. And then we're just going to start to plate. So we're going to take our butternut squash puree. Okay. And you're just going to generously just put a dollop on the plate and then make like a nice little kind of smear on the plate. Now see how nice she does that. Nice little Oops. bed for the scallop. Oh, yeah, I was then, wondering how to do that. There you go. And then we have some black rice here. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this before. I really like black um, rice. But it's... It's so good, isn't it? It's um, forbidden rice. It's a Chinese rice, and it's very earthy. It has a very nice texture. It gives a little bit of added texture to the dish, and it'll play off the mushrooms really well because it's so earthy. You're just going to go ahead and put uh, some of that black rice in the center of your plate. And then, voila, our scallops are done. 
Oh, Not too bad, right, Scott? Yeah, that was really very, uh, even I can do this. <laughs> and then you're just going to plate the scallops. You're going to just pop those right onto the plate. You're going to stick the mushrooms on too. And then our final step is just to add some toasted coconut and chives right onto the top of this. The toasted coconut's crunchy. It's nice and sweet. It has obviously that toastiness. And then our chives, just like a bright contrast. So beautiful. And voila. Thank you. Grace. We have our beautiful scallops dish. Oh, Absolutely that looks delicious. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love everything. The toasted coconut, coconut, etc. Thank you so much, Grace. Thank you, Grace. Good to see you. Thank you. I wish you guys could try. Me too. Me too. Me too. For more All great right. recipes, you can visit Grace's blog at tastefullygrace.com.